I've never experienced another place where so many people actively care about where they live. There are a lot of people who are here because they want to be and because they have roots here or because they have found a lot of community here. In my experience and talking with other people, they're like, yeah, I haven't seen this anywhere else I've lived, which is cool. So it feels like a unique place. So the idea of the lecture series is um, trying to tell a new narrative that is one in which Beer Falls has value and has some amazing people and amazing things going on. Um, and we can dream together about what the future looks like. And this year, we were asking our speakers to share some of their personal story and how that's been something of a catalyst for what they're doing now. All we get is time and choices. Be wise with both. And I had to understand that. And here I am. When I woke up, I started being wise with both. One of the first action things we had to do that really acknowledged like, oh, this is happening and affecting everybody is that the lecture series couldn't keep going. We like contacted all our members um, and had like a discussion of what's happening in Beaver Falls in response to this and what are gaps that people are seeing. Heart and Soul is a project really seeking after people in our community to get their input on how they want to see Beaver Falls and what kind of part they want to play in it. So when a person finds their, their place in their community, then they can in turn help somebody else find their place. And, and it only benefits everybody because everybody is working. And then also it creates that hope and that hope is contagious. So we're going to be doing any, everything that we can to reach out to every single person in our community um, to get their input in some way. To let them know that they're heard um, is the mission um, and the purpose of Heart and Soul. We were able to get funding for one of these neighborhood assistance programs. We see right revitalization coming up from the, the ground level from the people in a neighborhood getting together and they decide this is what we need to do. These are things that we can do. And we kind of begin to say, begin to rebuild and get neighbors to figure out who their neighbors are and how can we kind of work together and kind of lift our neighborhood up. I think part of it is I associate Beaver Falls with like a whole new way of thinking for me, which is very local based and very people oriented. So I almost feel like this is where I became a different person, um, where I learned to value things like how do we live well, and that includes like the earth and relationships with other people, um, personal relationships and like broader relationships. You know, this is a good place. It's a good area. This is a, these people here are good people um, in their core. There's something about this place that grabs a hold of you and you get to know people. It's an amazing town from every level, from city government to the public school to churches and pastors and people on the street. I feel like over our arching story that I've encountered is one of there are people here worth going through life with and there's like a resilience born out of 
staying somewhere, especially through a difficult, difficult time, which the town has had. But I feel like that kind of makes it more, I don't know, yeah, more precious.